Hey friends, hello. How are you today? I hope you are doing well and guess what? I am into my complete makeup look and I am really looking colourful because actually I am visiting my friend's place for a small party and the person uh, back which we are looking is actually my pet. I am at my mom's place and he is my lovely pet dog and his name is Rio. He is actually a crossbreed and he is with me since 4 to 5 years and I truly love him. He is the most adorable person in my life. So it was just a quick introduction of my pet which was uh, somewhere into my mind I need to do because you know the best person in my life, the best pet in my life you can say is Mr. Rio. So he is sleeping behind and don't get disturbed because maybe things can happen, he can come down, he can again go up, he can sleep there, he can sit there, he can do all that kind of stuff but he usually does that so uh, be alright with that. So today's video is all about makeup essentials wherein I need to discuss few makeup things which are really important while doing any define any uh, good quality of makeup which we need to take care while doing a makeup is always tie your hairs behind with a rubber band and once you tie uh, the hairs with the rubber band make sure you uh, use a hair band which is this to take back your baby hair because we tend to have many of the baby hairs here so actually we need to take them back because they tend to come in middle while we apply foundation while we contour and do stuff so just use your hair band like this and just take your baby hairs behind tend to disturb your makeup you know uh, so the second thing which you need to do is wash your face face washing is the important part because a greasy face can change your makeup can just waste your makeup and look at the worst so always wash your face is the second thing so the third thing is you always need to apply a sunscreen maybe in any day of the year you need to apply the sunscreen the sunscreen which i actually apply is lotus herbals and this is a good sunscreen which i really like and i tend to apply uh, before any makeup i actually do because it's kind of a layering on your face which saves your skin from any of the harsh chemicals may or may not uh, tend to make your skin dull so this is the third thing so the fourth thing you need to take care of is using a good primer using a good primer will make your makeup stay at least three to four hours more strong using a primer is not actually always required in our day to day basis kind of a makeup we actually don't need to use a makeup primer but then if you are going out for a function or if you are going out for a party we actually need stay on makeup for more time and we actually uh, cannot tend to uh, melt down the makeup very fast. Mm -hmm. The primer which actually I use many a times for a daily go is Miss Claire Professional Primer. Mm -hmm. It's Miss Claire Professional Primer Anti Redness. So after the primer, the main thing which we need to consider is the concealer the concealer is something which hides our dark circle usually indian skin tone tend to have the dark circles so the concealer can also be used as a highlighter for the more effects but then uh, the basic use of that is uh, correcting things the under circles and just lighting them up and also the next important part in the makeup is a best corrector uh, we get usually the corrector palettes like this corrector palettes like this which are used for correcting different different things on our face maybe uh, the red lines the veins kind of thing which tend to uh, look on our face the eye circles then the dark spots so uh, this different colors in a corrector if the color is all visible usually for the Indian skin tone using a corrector of a light orange color is really good for covering up the eye circles for hiding the dark spots on the face we can use a greenish kind of a, a corrector 
which looks like this this tone which is a faint green thing uh, actually it hides up the dark spots which are uh, a light brown or dark brown in color and it helps uh, to correct the parts but then corrector uh, is a thing which we actually don't use it on our daily go we actually use it for any function or a party look so corrector can be used as an optional thing depending upon the person if he needs he would and if he won't he won't so the other most important thing in any of the makeup is choosing a right foundation choosing a right foundation actually enhances the makeup ahead because if the foundation's color is wrong the makeup would go complete wrong if while selecting any foundation make sure of taking a shade which matches this part of your face and not the palm the foundation which i have used in today's look is fit me foundation and uh, this is my tone so eye shadow eye shadow is also an important part which we actually need to have but basically what you can do is you can take any of the one palette which is having a slight darker tone and any of the palette which are having the bright tones there is not a use of purchasing more and more eye shadows what i think is pink color should be a dark color always keep in mind always tend to have a dark color in any of the eye shadow and then you can have any of the lighter tones so here also i have used if you can see i have used the gray color in my crease and on the outer corner and on the inner corner and my lids i have used the golden color so the uh, other important part in any of the makeup is mascara actually eyes with mascara and eyes without mascara actually tend to give a huge difference one thing is a liner a liner is also an essential part of any of the makeup because liner liner gives a different shape to your eyes even if you have small eyes and if you have big eyes you can tend to use different kind of uh, liner methods and then you can just change your eye shape depending upon the your depending upon your look other essential part in any makeup is the bronzer bronzer is something many people don't use people with usually slim face don't actually require the bronzer they are okay if the bronzer is not there that is not that much essential but then the people with a big face really need a bronzer because it cuts down your cheeks and then gives it a slimmer look uh, for instance you can see i have used a bronzer can you see a cut from here it actually cuts down my cheeks and gives my cheeks a slimmer slimmer look like this so uh, even the bronzer is used on this side many people tend to have a double chin many uh, people who are having weights kind of uh, tend to have a double chin so double chin can also be cut down by using the bronzer just you need to apply the bronzer from this way can be or cannot be an essential part depending upon the person's face if a person's face is big actually he needs a bronzer and if the person's face is not big if the person is having a slimmer face then what's the need of making it more slimmer so you know bronzer can work as an optional part blush can again tend to be an optional part if the person don't like the pinky kind of a cheeks or you know the highlighted cheeks so blush can be an optional part but then i always suggest if you are going with a full fledged makeup for any of the party or any of the function you always need to have the blush on because blush actually makes the game on blush uh, makes your cheeks really look very sweet and very charming on the other hand bronzer just cuts your cheek and then you get a basic perfection of the makeup so blush is an important essential part of any makeup so the next important part in any of the makeup is the highlighter and if you can see on my face a little bit of a shine from here a little bit of shine on my nose a little bit of shine on my chin so this is what is called as a highlighter the highlighter plays a very important role in any makeup i, I feel like i am glowing and my face is glowing and i really like that you know uh, in any of may say uh, if you have any day function if you say you have any night function highlighter plays a very important role so the other important part is the setting powder people always tend to use a compact powder on a daily basis 
that's okay but if you are going out for a special occasion or special event then don't tend to use any of the compact powder if you are going with a full fledged makeup try using a loose powder because loose powders really play an important role in any of the makeup loose powder really sets down your makeup like say if i have concealed here and the loose powder sets on my concealer but the compact powder does seems to look like patchy thing if i'm using a compact powder like this it will paste it here it will paste it here maybe it will not paste it in the middle so compact powder usually uh, turns out to be patchy but then loose powder it usually turns out to set the makeup in a very proper way defining it in a very proper way in order to do the remaining stuff like the contouring the blush and the highlighting and stuff so loose powder is a must thing in any of the makeup essential always have a loose powder at least of one company don't need to stock it up much more always have a bright lipstick and always have a nude lipstick because bright lipstick can be used on an occasion purpose and the nude lipstick can be used for a daily basis purpose so at least you need to have two shades of these lipsticks and you're easy to use so the other part which is important again is a setting spray so if you are doing a very professional kind of a makeup you need to have the set setting spray but then if you are not a professional kind of makeup or maybe you are not tend to uh, get that much of professional look so that's okay if you are not having any of the setting spray really optional people tend to use setting sprays they need to have the entire day with the makeup along and they need to keep that makeup intact for a special event or a certain purpose wherein they need to be active for about 8 to 10 hours and their face is going to get highlighted so setting spray just keeps on makeup and just lets the makeup stay on for more than 2 hours or 3 hours i mean the total capacity of the makeup stays on again at least by 2 hours so the setting spray is an optional thing but then if you are getting the makeup essential get the setting spray most important part out of this video is the set of makeup brushes i actually didn't mention any of the makeup brushes before because i needed to explain you few things about the makeup brushes and do optional many of the people have the habit of uh, doing and applying a makeup with the fingers and so so you know they are not much comfortable with the makeup brushes but the important makeup brush which which you need to have is a buffing brush buffing brush is used for buffing the foundation on your face i am using makeup brushes this one one and a half year and i'm really happy with that so the buffing brush i will just show you one buffing brush which i have right now is from this beauty planet this is a kind of a buffing brush and it is actually very dense and it is actually very big and it is a short brush so at least we can talk about makeup essentials and you are easy to go on brush i uh, earlier mentioned as the loose powder most important part of any makeup in order to uh, keep the makeup in place in order to set up the things so this is a powder brush which you can use to just place on the powder entirely on your face this is all about makeup essential i hope you like my video and if you like my video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button below it and please comment down if you have any other suggestions so yes let's meet up in the next video till then bye